What you are seeing now is the alcove area in the living room of the simulation home. The kitchen is on the right side of the frame and the front door is on the left. A fire is being ignited on the wicker chair which was determined to be the point of origin of the fire. The equipment hanging from the ceiling are the heat sensors installed to monitor the temperature of the room at various levels. The smoke is now pouring from the ignition point and a small flame is developing. The wicker chair is now burning. The ground floor smoke alarm activates. Remember, there was no ground floor smoke alarm in the actual fire. The fire is still in its early stages, but you can see that the smoke layers are already beginning to accumulate at the ceiling level. If the occupants were alerted to the fire at this point, they would have had more time to safely escape. In a fire, every second counts. The smoke alarm on the second floor now activates. This is the alarm the family heard. At this stage, they are getting out of bed, gathering the children and preparing to escape. These are the fire conditions that the family would have faced as they came down the stairs. At this point, the temperature in the room at shoulder levels is approximately 40 degrees Celsius. Watch closely what happens to the fire conditions when the front door opens and more oxygen is introduced into the room. At this stage, we believe the mother and child are now exiting the front door. In the confusion of the growing fire, the father and son became separated, and the father barely escaped with his life. Unfortunately, the child had run back up the stairs and perished in the fire. Within 30 seconds of the door opening, the temperature on the first and second floors soared to over 700 degrees Celsius. The fire is spreading rapidly throughout the room as flaming paint is dropping onto the furnishings. The room is rapidly approaching its peak temperature of 900 degrees Celsius. All of the materials in the room are burning and in less than three minutes, we have now reached flashover conditions. No one can possibly survive these conditions.